Yo, what's up? Hey, I just did that video a little while ago, uh, earlier today, about building that uh, flower pot hanger. And I went and picked this steel up, so we're going to build this barbecue pit, or at least get started on it today. I already cut a chunk of it out and uh, to cut down the slats to build the octagon. And so this is what we got going. I cut a piece of it out already. Not a bit to get all eight, all my eight pieces out for the octagon on this. So I'm going to get to cutting this stuff and uh, then put it together. All right, well that's eight of those. So while I still got the torch going, I'm gonna go over here and cut some of the pieces out for the burn box. Might as well get some of that done right quick.
All right, I went ahead and got the firebox put on. I got the door kind of ready. I hadn't done the vent or the handle or nothing on it. But I got that put on there. I went ahead and cut some legs out. The stuff for the frame of the legs. It's right here. And some uh, circles for the feet. Because he don't want wheels on this. He just wants it to stand there. So I'm going to put some circles on the bottom of that tubing so it won't sink in the ground. So now we'll get to putting all that stuff together. I thought it was going to rain. It keeps acting like it's going to rain, so I went ahead and cut it out. So we'll get that stuff put together next. All right, it started sprinkling and, and looked like it was fixing to go ahead and pour down. So I went ahead and finished the stand and got it sitting on the stand. Uh, everything's looking good. It's going to be heavy to pick up. I'm not sure why he didn't want wheels, but that's what he wanted. So Everything's going good right now. I think that's all I'm going to do on it this evening. Because it seems like every time I start doing something, it starts sprinkling again. And I put some good circles down there so it wouldn't sink in the ground. But uh, that's it for right now. I guess the next thing we'll be starting on is the door and the smoke pipe. All right, y'all. I ended up skipping a lot of stuff on this barbecue pit. It's just dealing with this rain. It's been raining for days. It seems like it's always raining. But anyway, but uh, not really. It don't really rain that much down there. It just seems like when I don't need it to rain, it's raining. 
But anyway, I skipped a bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm done now, except for painting it. I hadn't painted it because it keeps clouding up and trying to sprinkle out here. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it today or not. I probably will try. But uh, I did a little bit of the painting on the very bottom of it. But anyway, let me uh, show you what's going on. That's it. And like I said, it don't have wheels. That thing's going to be heavy. And I put a... Uh, I think the last thing I showed making was this right here. And all this is, this is a handle. It makes it down lower. It's, it's almost even with that burn box, somewhere close to it. That way when two people get on each side, one person can get here, the other person can grab under that burn box. It'd be easier to move. That way you're not trying to reach up here on this table and pull on that table because it's not going to be as strong as this. And I just threw a little rack right there. I mean, since that was going to be there anyway, you might as well get some kind of use out of it besides, a handle, besides just a handle. And that way you could, you could set something under there if you wanted to. But anyway, it's got the four inch stack on it. Uh, I did both of these handles both on this time. I usually weld this one on, and uh, but I ended up having to paint it, or at least paint part of it. So I just, I cut a bolt in half, welded it on the end of it, and put a nut on it right there. There's the basket. It's wide open and I don't know if you can see in there, but it's wide open. It's got the two racks in it. Vent covers are, uh, vent covers are over there. So everything came out good on it. Uh, I don't like the fact that it don't have wheels. It just makes it hard for me to move around. I got to get somebody else to help me. My old lady will come out here and help me move it, but it's gonna be heavy on her too. It's heavy on me. So anyway, that'll do it on this. I have another one of these coming up. It's going to be pretty much the same pit, except it's going to be reverse flow. So I know I have that coming up. And uh, maybe some more of these. I, I, I'm hoping some people are talking about getting, I think, five fire pits. So hopefully I got that. And uh, anyway, I am fixing to do this uh, this big old chicken. You got to watch that big old thing. He'll peck you sometimes. But anyway, on those table frames, I mentioned it in another video. I'm fixing to do one of the Santa Marie's on that. I think I have all the stuff right now to do it. And uh, I just got a few things I got to knock out. I've been doing a bunch of that engraving stuff lately. There's one cedar box. I got to sand off those plugs when they get dry. Uh, one with a cross. I got two up here that say Wilder. I got to make those pot hangers out of that. Gotta make a pot hanger out of that. I got them. Well, there's three different words on there, but I gotta make pots out of that. I did one that says cowboys just messing around. Oh, it's been a lot of stuff going on.